G'day YouTube, this is just a quick review of the latest release of OpenSUSE version 15. Now, just as a bit of an overview, there are a few different versions of OpenSUSE. Uh, there's a sort of a rolling release version called Tumbleweed, and then there's uh, the version 15, which is called Leap, OpenSUSE Leap 15, which is the one we're looking at right now. So, iterative release like Ubuntu and Linux Mint and all of those ones there. So, starting off, uh, as you can see plainly, there is the uh, GNOME desktop, and this is the... Uh, the default desktop environment for OpenSUSE, the GNOME desktop. Uh, if we were to move across to uh, the file manager, you'll find that it is usually using the uh, GNOME files file manager as well. So let's move across there, check about, there we go. So version 3.26.x, so that's all fine, that's all good. It's uh, pretty much uh, as you'd expect it to be, uh, the, the GNOME files file manager. It's um, does everything you want it to do and sometimes a little bit more menus hiding up here with preferences that kind of thing that's all fine uh, moving on so uh, open source leap 15 let's see what the kernel is running so I'll open up a terminal and I'll type in the following you name uh, a and I might see if I can zoom into that there we go so interestingly it's only using the 4.12 kernel not the latest but perhaps the latest is uh, reserved for the rolling release version of open source uh, tumbleweed edition quotation marks there. So uh, let's also see how much RAM it's using just uh, straight off the bat. So I've just loaded it up just using the one CPU. Uh, we can see we're using uh, 855 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat when it's been loaded up, which isn't, uh, I've, you know, I've seen worse, but I have seen better. So it's not the most lightweight distribution with the with the default desktop environment setup of GNOME, the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, let's see, last but not least, let's see how to install something. So if you were to install something on uh, the uh, this OpenSUSE Leap 15, the update method is uh, zipper. So what you would need to do is type in the following, which is sudo uh, zipper in for install, and then the program that you want to install. H let's just use htop as the example as per above. Uh, throw in your password, and let's see what happens. Um, that's all good actually. Let's just try something that's a little bit different. Let's see if GIMP's there. Already the latest. Great. W what I was hoping to do was try something that didn't yet exist because it does sometimes seem a little bit slow in order to uh, to read in through the repositories and get what you want. But otherwise, it's a pretty much a, um, I guess, uh, just a run-of-the-mill GNOME desktop uh, distribution there, using its own update method. It's not fantastically exciting, uh, unfortunately to say. It doesn't seem to um, have a lot of its own uh, amazements or capabilities, apart from this amazing wallpaper here. <laughs> not so much. But it's basically uh, running, uh, yeah, just the not the latest kernel uh, with uh, your typical GNOME desktop environment. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a quick one there. Hope you've enjoyed.